What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with Iron Thorns on the ranked regulation F lab. Now, Iron Thorns is one of my favorite Paradox Pokemon, but to be honest, it is not that good in ranked battles. So we're gonna be trying it again in ranked regulation F, seeing how we do with it, and hopefully grabbing some wins for you guys. But Iron Thorns is chilling over here with the Bug Terror type to pair up with its Pin Missile move. It also has another move just like Pin Missile, Rock Blast, and we're pairing it up with a Loaded Dice today. So those moves can hit at least four to five times every single time we use it. Iron Thorns is rocking Cork Drive as its ability, with Supercell Slam Protect as its final two moves. This team also features Meow Skirata and Primarina with Water Pledge and Grass Pledge. So if we get them both out at the same time, use both those moves, we will actually create a Swamp on the opposing side, making them all slower for, I think, like four turns. Really, really cool combo. I always love a good old Water Pledge and Grass Pledge play. But Primarina, great regulation F Pokemon. Meow Skirata, really, really solid in uh, most different things. Due to its ability, Protein, you can switch its uh, typing and really just get after the battle. Another regulation F Pokemon on today's team is going to be Entei. Top tier in the meta, cannot go wrong with that. And then we got Iron Bundle and Fezendipity for our final two Pokemon. Guys, you wanna rent the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Iron Thorns in regulation F. We're hopping into match number one, going up against an old school combo. That's been in the game for a while, Ursaluna and Cresselia. They also have Dragonite, rocking out with Incineroar, and then last but not least, they got Scizor and Amoongus. So they can pop Trick Room, they can use Ursaluna really well, and same thing with Amoongus. But my team is actually mediocre speed, right? This is a nice little off meta team. I could start off by using you, because if you're gonna lead a Pokemon like Incineroar, I can always Rock Blast that. If you lead Cresselia, I got the bug move to get after that. That's not bad for us, because Cresselia is their only Trick Room setter, so I kind of want to go into Iron Thorns. The only problem would be if they go into Incineroar. I don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. So I might go into Iron Thorns. I'm definitely gonna go into Iron Thorns, but my secondary Pokemon could potentially be Maybe just Pheasantipity or Iron Bundle. That's Snarl right there, which isn't bad. I kind of want to go in the Pheasantipity here. Maybe just maybe just start trying to get some poisons off. That's not bad. I think we go Pheasantipity. We bring the Iron B late game back end. Or I could Encore. Ooh, I could Encore. No, we can't really do that. You know, we're going to go Iron Bundle here. And then we're going to go nice little Entei late game. And last but not least, Primarina. Or pheasant dipping. I'm gonna go Primarine here. I like the fairy typing. I like the fairy typing. So yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Iron Bundle's got electric terrain. So if we want to set it, pop the cork drive. It's definitely could definitely come in useful. Especially if they go crest. I would not mind popping cork drive and at the same time terrasticing the bug and just ripping pin missiles. Good old pin missiles with a loaded dice. You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. Because I believe our cork drive boost would be attack. But they end up leading Crest and Incineroar. Oh man. Crescent and Cinnamon coming out here. A little annoying. A um, little bit of a problem here. It's definitely a problem because they intimidate me. I might just go into a Rock Blast now. I might just go into a Rock Blast or I might just hard swap my Iron Thorns. I can do that and I could maybe just like. Hmm. Could maybe just set the Legend Train, but I'm kind of upset because that minus one attack. Real annoying. Definitely really annoying. And he's going to fake out one of my Pokemon. I'm curious to see who it's going to be. But you know what? I'm just going to rip a Rock Blast. And then we'll start wasting out Trucking turns. That's fine by me. So Rock Blast coming in hot into the Incineroar slot. And I'm just going to, I guess, maybe double down. Maybe start attacking Crest. They're going to fake out one of my users, let's see. It's going to be the Iron Bundle. So I could just there. I could just but I didn't really see it fit there. So Rock Blast is going to fly through here. Reminds one on attack. Still should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Probably put it at half. Hopefully we hit five times and trigger a citrus berry. Yeah, there's half and there's five. So if we weren't minus one, that had a hot shot at KO. So obviously he's not rocking the citrus berry, which is pretty good for us. It's pretty good for us. And from here, I could potentially swap out the iron bundle. Or even the iron thorns. Probably the iron thorns maybe just go into Entei here. Dante's not a bad play. I can start snarling. Plus, I have inner focus, so if they do want a parting shot into me, that'd be totally fine. Hmm. So, from here, I'm just gonna go into a nice level protect. Um, Crest now goes first. I wish I could just encore it in the trick room, but 
I just can't do that. So I'm going to swap the Iron Thorns. I'm going to get our attack stat back. And we're going to start focusing on trying to get these Trick Room turns out of here, right? So I protect the Iron B. Ring out Entei. And let's see what he ends up going for. Party shot, maybe? An ally switch. He's going to ally switch up. And are you going for Flare Blitz? You're going for the party shot. So go ahead, waste out the Tailwind turns. I don't care. You can't party shot into my... Into my, what's it called? Into my Entei. I got Inner Focus. So from here, I'm just going to start dropping Snarls, right? Probably my best bet. Snarl, lower that crest of special attack. And what he's trying to really do here is just get out the, what's it called? He's really just trying to get out the, uh, the Ursaluna. That's the whole plan, is to get out Ursula. So if I could just waste out these turns, I'm going to double down into the incident or slot just in case he swaps. And as I'm just saying in here, taking out my leftovers, which is totally fine. Not that big of a deal. And a Thunderbolt's going to fly. We don't like that. That's probably going to KO. No. I tell you, not hitting hard at all. But Snarl's going to fly here, which is big time. Chunking up a little bit of damage onto the crest, but more importantly, getting that special attack drop on for Celia. Now, Freeze Dry is not really going to do too much damage over here, but I don't really mind. Maybe I should have popped Electric Turn that time. So I could protect here again. I could E speed, and I think I'm. Oh, we're gonna be able to KO after this. Maybe not. That's a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP with the Mago Berry. So I could double protect if I want to. Definitely an option. Two turns off in Trick Room, but I don't think we should protect this turn. I think we should just straight up attack. I'm gonna try to pop a Light Stream because if we protect this turn, they swap into the, their. Uh, and they swap into their uh, Ursaluna, we can be in, in for a rough little play. But knockoff's gonna fly out here, it's just gonna take off my item, we don't like that one bit. And he's gonna take some damage to Rocky, which is great. Rocky Helmet gets knocked off here, he's gonna go for another Thunderbolt, which, are you soaking? You live on one! That's huge, because now we have one turn left on the Trick Room. We're gonna pop the nice lovely terrain, and we'll get rolling from here. We shall get rolling. So, wasted out the Trick Room turn is really good. I popped my Quirk Drive, so I'll get my speed boost, but... Other than that, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But something I'm gonna check is your stats real quick. I just wanna check this thing's stats. So yeah, you are boosting attack really well. You got special defense, and you are I thought you would hit harder with E speed. Your attack though. You are boosting attack. Okay. So now that we got the terrain out here, uh E speed can finish off you. I have a feeling they might hard swap. But I could end up just most likely protecting, right? And yeah, I'm just going to protect the Iron Bundle. I'm going to keep another turn here. If I protect the Iron Bundle, we're going to finish off this Incineroar. We just want nothing to do with the Fake Outs, nothing to do with the Intimidate. And we'll just finish off you. So now Crest is sitting here, minus one on Special Attack. We played that Trick Room really, really well. Just canceling out all the turns. Let him get really no value out of this. Plus, we get a big time Protect. So now, Trick Room gone. They could bring back out Ursulina. And this is where we have a little bit of an issue. Actually, I'm going to Encore that Crest into Thunderbolt. That's exactly what we're doing. We're on Queen Crest and Thunderbolt. They're going to go into a Moogus. Oh, they're going to Rage Powder me. We don't like that one bit. They're going to Rage Powder me. They're going to pop Trick Room. They're going to pop Trick Room. Rage Powder, Trick Room. Actually, they might not even Rage Powder. So we're going to Encore just in case. We're going to Encore just in case. Nope, there's Rage Powder. Man, come on. So now they get off another Trick Room. Ursulina's looking real annoying. We still have Terra, though. We still have Terra. And I shouldn't have protected Iron Bundle there. I should have just brought out my, uh... I should have just brought out my, what's it called? Oh, we get a burn. That's huge. That's what you get for getting a free Focus Ash. One HP Bandit over here. But yeah, I should have let my Iron Bundle die out. Just so I can get Iron Thorns out of him. That should be my play. That should be my play. So from here, I'm just gonna drop a Snarl. They could actually put me to sleep. Actually, you're gonna die. No, you survived. Your Leftovers keeps you alive. Now he's just gonna spore me, aren't you? Now you're just going to spore me. Now you're just going to spore me. So I guess we'll go for some freeze dry. I mean, actually, I'm going to double down into this thing just so he doesn't spore spam me. And actually, he can't. He's rage power, so don't do that. So from here, you're going to go for a Thunderbolt. You're going to take out the Iron Bee, which is no big deal. And Snarl should come out here. Finishing off the moves and making Crest minus two. So now we got to deal with Ursulina, right? Who just dodged that? Who dodged that? Of course, Amoogus dodges it, so at least he's going to use Rage Power this turn. So actually, that works better. 
Waste out another turn without Ursula on the field. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So from here, I could bring out you. What's the speeds looking like? A 107, and you're 121. So you're going to go first, which is kind of rough. At a bug terror, so I could potentially just... I'm going to go into you here. I am going to go into you. And you know what? I'm going to just protect this turn, and then I'm going to Thrasalize the next turn. Let's see how many turns are left in, in the trick room. It should be three. Three turns. So yeah, Snarl going to come out here. I might as well attack this turn. No, I'm just going to protect. Yeah, I'm just going to protect. Because then the turn after, I could potentially Terrasalize my Iron Thorns. And then I could protect another turn to finish off Trick Room. So a long, drawn-out match number one. We love a good match like this. We love a good match like this. So we still have Prima Arena in the back end. We both still have Terra as well. And if I had to guess... Oh, no! I should have just attacked. All right, you're getting attacked next turn. But I don't mind these two Pokemon on the field. He's going to have to Rage Powder, I think, maybe one more turn. Oh, you cure his burn, too. You're not blasting going crazy. Going crazy. Lunar Blessing. God dang. Lunar Blessing, yo. It's such a solid first match. Electricity is gone. There goes my Cork Drive. Hate this game. My Cork Drive's gone, but still, Pin Missile can do some nice damage. But from here, I'm just gonna Snarl again. And I'm just gonna go for a Pin Missile. I'll keep my Terra. I won't Terrasalize just yet. I could go for Rock Blast. It will do more. Let's Rock Blast into you. Cool. So they got a Rage Powder one more turn because they are in Alcor. So he's minus two. He's probably just going to Lunar Blessing again. Yeah, and that's fine. It's actually really fine. Actually, is it fine? Maybe it's just Sacred Fire. This thing's getting a bit too much HP. How much damage are Rock Blast doing? Rock Blast should KO. Right? We're fine here. Yeah, two more, it's gonna hit you. Yeah. So Rock Blast gonna get the job done, no problem. We love you, Iron Thorns. Picking up a big type KO. So now there's one turn left to Trick Room. So our play should just be to double protect here, waste out the last turn Trick Room. Kinda get after it that way, right? Works really well. Not really too worried about this crest. It's a minus three. We snarled it a lot. So we had to play this game really, really slow, but it's looking pretty good. So we still have Prima Arena back end. They still have, if I have to guess, Ursula Luna, right? Yeah. It's been Ursula this whole time. And we have one turn left in Trick Room, so it should just be a simple double protect. A simple double protect, and then potentially Terrasalize next turn, and get after that Cresselia, just so it doesn't pop another Trick Room. So they're gonna hit the Terror button, we're gonna be able to see what Terror type they go into. It might be Ghost, it might be Normal, and it's gonna be a Normal. A Normal Bear. I feel like all Bear Pokemon should be Normal typing. Because they're bears, they're just normal. They're just normal animals in, in the wilderness. <laughs> normal bears. So if we double protect, we're gonna waste out the last turn of Trick Room. La la la. This is this is a long match. And they're gonna ally switch. So now we know the rock and ally switch. We don't like this. We don't like a good old ally switch. But the thing is, Trick Room's gonna end, so they're probably gonna try to pop another trick room. So in this case, we're gonna terrasalize our iron thorns. And we're going to attack that crest with Pit Missile. So this thing's going to get some burns on it. So he's burned up a little bit. I am scared of the EQ. EQ is terrifying. Maybe I might just E speed. Get off as much damage as I can with that. And then just go into a Terra Pin Missile. Yeah. We don't want it. We don't need another Trick and Poppin', right? We do not need another Trick and Poppin'. So we're going to attack. Hopefully his fingers crossed Pin Missile can do some nice damage onto this thing. I don't even know if it's going to KO it, to be honest with you guys. We'll see. We got the Bug Terror, too, to help us out with this, with that EQ. V-Speed's gonna fly, do a nice little chunk of damage, and Pin Missile. Can you get after it? Let's see what you got cooking, Pin Missile. How much damage you doing, Pin Missile? Oh, yeah. Yes, Pin Missile. Yes, Pin Missile. Let's go, yo. Iron Thorns ripping up. It's guaranteed to hit one more time. Love the loaded dice on this bad boy. Love it. So he's gonna pop another EQ. We already know this is coming. Iron Thorns should soak it, right? With the bug terror type, should be able to soak a nice little EQ. Entei, on the other hand, not so much, right? Not so much. Yeah, so actually, Iron Thorn soaked that insanely well. Bug terror coming in clutch. It's crit on Entei, it didn't even matter. Entei was dead regardless. That thing was getting dumped on. So now, we get to bring out Big Dog, Primarina in the back end. 
what I like a lot. And I can start popping hyper voices. I can start going for my fairy moves. No need to protect. It's all about the attacking. It's all about attacking. So from here, what would we do more? Dazzle and Gleam or Hyper Voice? Hyper Voice would. You have the uh, Liquid Voice, right? Yeah. So we're gonna just gonna go Hyper Voice, deal some damage in that, and from here, Rock Blast. These two will do the same amount of damage. It really don't matter which one we go into. We could go for Super Cell Slam, but no. We're just gonna stick with our with our moves and. Pin Missile's doing his job, so we're going we're gonna go for Pin Missile. They're doing the same amount of damage, and Pin Missile has higher accuracy. So I'd rather go for higher accuracy than here. The Pin Missile gonna chunk up a little bit of damage. Which is solid for us. It's guaranteed to hit one more time. Maybe we get a five turn. Do we get a five one? Oh we do, yo. Iron Thorns rocket outmatch them. Five times? We love it. We love that. Hyper Boy's gonna follow up behind them and just finish off the match. Beautiful. Long drawn out match number one. We wasted out two sets of Trick Room to get that win. Time for our second match in today's video. Loved using Iron Thorns there in match number one. It was a long battle. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. But we're going up against Landorus, wheezing with neutralizing gas, and then we're rocking out with Fluttermane, Iron Hands, uh, Roaring Moon, and Ogre Prime. So multiple different Pokemon. Really, really strong. We could potentially set up the pledge here. We could if we wanted. Or I can just go into Pheasant Dippity, who is a uh, Mediocre speed, right? 119, yeah, mediocre. And I can start icy winning around, which is not a bad play. With the black sludge, I like it. I, I think we need some speed control here, so I am gonna go in the pheasant dipity for the lead. I could also go maybe iron thorns. Not bad play for us. Would not be a bad play. So who do I think they're gonna lead? Probably iron hands, most likely, right? So if, mm, if they do go into iron hands, maybe we wanna go into you. I don't really know. I don't really know to be honest. I could maybe just go into you and then you turn out. Just see what's popping. And yeah, I kind of like that. And then in the back end, we're going to go Iron Bundle just for a bit more speed here. And last but not least, we are going to go into Entei. I like Entei here. So we're not going to be using the Iron Thorns in this battle. And the uh, Primarina, we're not going to be using. Maybe I should have led Primarina. That went a bit bad with Daz and Blaine trying to roll. It wouldn't have been bad. But I like... The Pheasant Dippity lead, especially with Toxic Chain with Icy Winds, you could slow down Pokemon, have a chance of getting poisons, and if you can pick up the poisons, it's big time. It's big time. They end up going Weezing and Lander, so this is good for us. So this is good for us. This is not a bad lead for us. Not the bad lead. Because Pheasant Dippity is actually not flying, right? Which is totally weird. Your Poison Fairy. You're actually weak to ground moves. Do I Terrasalize it? No. We actually don't have Tox Chain. Actually, you might outspeed. I'm gonna go for Triple Axle in this slot. He's gonna U-turn in there. Okay, that's fine. So U-turns out of here. We do Focus Ash out. Okay. So maybe I should have U-turned. But it don't really matter. Let's see who they go into. They have no abilities. Neither do us. We don't pro the end switch. We don't have Toxic Chain right now. And chances are they probably go into like either Roar Moon or Flutter Main. Which I don't mind because we get to slow them down, which is big. It's gonna be Roar Moon. That's that's huge because Triple Axe is gonna be super effective. Ice Human's gonna be super effective. We love it. Triple Axe will hit it again. It's dead. Oh, it's not dead. But Ice Human should pick up the KO. So I love it. I love that turn. Bad swap on that round. Great, great start from them with the U-turn. But bad swap going into Roaring Moon. But, again, I, if I were them, I wouldn't know my opponent's rocking Triple Axe on Icy Moon. Like, come on, now. That's a little crazy. They might double down into our boy. And, no, they're just going to Will-O-Wisp our Vesidipity, which is totally fine. We're special attacking them. We're really just here for speed control. And I got Black Sludge to kind of deal with that. So, cool. Black Sludge going to neutralize or negate this burn. And we'll go from there. We shall go from there. So we still have two good back end Pokemon. They still have Landorus who can't intimidate us. Um, he's gonna go back into it, which is kind of smart because now we can just EQ here if you wanted to. But I do have you in the back end. You could just EQ. Um, EQ is scary. EQ is scary. We might just have to take this hit, to be honest. But I try to set up a Tailwind. Yeah, I'm going to try to set up a Tailwind, and if I can, go for a Triple Axle, but I think he just EQs, right? They go for Rock Slide, which is actually 10 times better. 
Hopefully you just weren't rocking EQ. Maybe you had stop and catch him instead of EQ. So you're looking for a flinch. And if you get the flinch, you get the flinch. So we could eat up another rock side. You get the flinch. That is absurd. That is absurd. But now we're going to bring out the bundle. Now we're bringing out the bundle. We're not playing around. We're not bringing it. We're, we're bringing out the bundle. We're not playing around. So I'm going to bring out the Bundy. Now I might terrestrialize the bundle because Rock Slide looking a little scary, right? Rock Slide is looking a little scary. So from here, I definitely want to go for this Tailwind just so I can get some speed control. And I'm just going to go into this Freeze Dry. So he's probably going to terrestrialize. Oh, I forgot to terrestrialize my bundle. Hopefully he protects. And then we can terrestrialize next year. But I forgot to terrestrialize my bundle. Click the buttons way too quick. This could be bad for us. This could be bad. Because you could... You, you're most likely Choice Scarf. You're rocking U-Turn. Oh, no. This could be bad. But this Iron Bundle is a bit bulkier than other Iron Bundles. It's just going to protect the Weezing. So Weezing gets to protect. He must have keep the Neutralizing Gas on the field. Um, and Rock Slide's going to fly here. Okay, Iron Bundle actually soaked really well. So Freeze Dry's going to pick up the KO, no problem. Okay, cool. So we save a Terror type. My mistakes actually work out perfectly. We save a terror type, we get the dump on Lando. And on top of this, Tailwind is now flying, giving my Pokemon a bit more speed. So still he has neutralized gas on the field, but to be honest, like we don't need it that much. <laughs> like this neutralizing gas isn't really doing much. It's not really doing much. But they're gonna throw out their final Pokemon. If I had to guess, it's most likely Fluttermane. Right? Am I right? I believe it is, right? No, it's going to be Iron Hand. So Iron Hand's going to fly through here. Um, I think now is a perfect time to where we terrestrialize the bundle. Just so we can get off some turns here. And I could roost. And I am going to roost. I'm going to terrestrialize you into Ghost. And I'm just going to freeze try. And whatever it does. If it goes into a fake out, we can just Encore next turn. So I'm cool with that. I am cool with this. So we could have actually Encore the Weezing this turn. I probably should have done that. I probably should have Terrasalize, Encore the Weezing, and then he probably would have went for Fake Out into the Iron Bundle slot, and then we could just Encore him, and then it would have been Encore into Protect and Fake Out, and we could have just kept getting after it. But that seems like that'd be like a long, a long thing to do, right? Because then, then we have to keep up with the Encores, keep checking the turns. Fezzendipity's not doing any crazy damage. But the Fake Out is going to go into Fezzendipity. Okay. So I get off some Free Stride damage. I will Encore that thing next turn. You actually soak really well. And he's just going to go for Sludge Bomb, which we died, right? Yeah. I was going to say, if I get off this Roost, that'd be beautiful. But I get to bring out a heavier hitter with Entei. That's cool. So I get some leftovers HP. I get to bring out my Entei. Sacred Fire can start flying. And we can go from there. Cool. I can't be burned either. Nice. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to Encore the Iron Hands. And then I'm just going to uh, start attacking it, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So a little bit of Encore action. Should be able to wrap this one up because Weezing's not doing any crazy damage, correct? Nothing crazy going on for Weezing. Nothing too crazy going on for Weezing. I think it just has Will-O-Wisp. I think it has Will-O-Wisp, Sludge Bomb, Protect, and... Pff, I couldn't tell you its last move. I couldn't tell you. But Sacred Fire is going to fly out here. Do some nice damage. That's what we needed from Entei. And this thing is stuck in Fake Out now. Thank you, Encore. I love using Encore. So that's why I'm going to fly through here. Actually, not too bad damage. No poison comes out here. And I think we just double down and we look to just get rid of this Iron Hands here, right? Yeah, Sacred Fire. Into Freeze Dry. Let's do it. Can we suck in the Fake Out for the next two turns? I think they might just cancel match. Unless they get, like, crit here with Sludge Bomb. That's the only way I see us potentially losing. But look at this silly Iron Hand. Stuck in Fake Out. <laughs> Freeze Dry flies here. Does a little bit of damage. Sacred Fire should be able to clean that up. No problem. Later, Iron Hands. Get on out of here. So now all we have to worry about is this Weezing. And I just realized we went this whole battle without using one ability. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So that's why I'm going to fly through here. We soak all day. But they do get the poison. That's fine. That should allow Entei at least one more turn. At minimum, maybe two. But I think if we could just land one Sacred Fire, should be able to do enough damage for Iron Bundle to just clean up this mess. Lovely. They might protect you. They could protect. They could definitely protect. My Tamwin's gone, but we, we still outspeed him. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for a freeze try. Maybe I should have snarled, but 
Nah, we need to get off as much damage as we can. So Sacred Fire, always the right path. Oh, for the most part, using Sacred Fire with Entei does so much damage. It really does. So I think they're going to protect here and just try to win this match. But as long as we land a Sacred Fire, we got this in the bag. Even if we don't land Sa Sacred Fire, I still feel as the Bundy can get after it, right? Yep, there's Protect. You're not doing enough damage with Poison. You're just not. You are simply not doing enough damage with Poison. And then and now. So, leftovers. I love leftovers. Working well today. Working well today. The poison is going to chuck up a little bit. Down to 30. Down to 30, which is bad. We can survive another poison tick. But chances are Weezing is attacking us. So we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Freeze dry. Double down with Sacred Fire. How much damage is Freeze dry doing? Yeah, Iron Bundle should be able to win this one regardless. And here comes Sacred Fire. Going to bring this thing down the red. So he's just going to take out Entei here. You have a berry. You have a berry. Two more freeze drives can win this match. You have a berry, and he's gonna go for a will o wisp. That was silly. That was. I ain't even gonna say silly. That might have been stupid. That might have been stupid to not KO this Entei. I think we survived this tick, right? At 30 HP? Of course we do. Of course we do. That was. Now. Bad play. Bad play. Bad play. But now we go freeze drive. Now we go second fire. Now that's just locked the game. 2 and 0 for today's video. 2 and 0 rocking out with this Iron Thorn squad. Um, videos have actually been... Oh, wait. No, you're going to just take me down again. Actually, that was actually smart. I take it back. I take it back because, that, yeah, they, they had that thought process all thought out, right? They are just like, okay, I might as well, instead of attacking Entei, just attack the Iron Bundle because then I can protect next turn and have this thing take down. Okay, never mind. That was actually really smart. I'm stupid. I'm stupid for, for thinking that was stupid. That was actually smart. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so they were protecting regardless, so it didn't matter if they were attacking Entei. Because if they would have attacked Entei, they could have just used it on Iron Bundle like they tried doing. Wow, man. Can we, like, finish up this match? Just wheezing is, like, starting to scare me, right? But Freeze Drive flies out here. We just got to be able to circle the shot. And I believe we should, no problem. Sludge Bomb, even with a crit. Yeah, it worked Ghost Type, too. This is to wheeze. Too easy. So our opponent's just giving us a tough time, right? I can definitely see him maybe protecting. But just cancel the battle, please. It's over. It's over. Yep, there it is. Battle was finally canceled. We're 2 0. Moving on to our third and final match for today's video. We'd love to use Iron Thorns a little bit more. We used it in match number one. Absolutely lit it up. But in match number two, we didn't use it. So looking to use it here in match number three. Going up against Tornadus and Landris. Two Pokemon that are weak to ice. They also have Ogre Pond. And real boom, another Pokemon with the ice. So honestly, Iron Bundle, Fezzidipity, not bad here. Same thing with Triple Axe, Axel, Yasgarada. That is something I like. So maybe from here we could go Iron Thorns turn one. I actually kind of dig Iron Thorns. A problem with this team that reversing is going to be Archer Ludon. That's something I really don't want to deal with. I don't like it one bit. But we're gonna have to deal with it. So do I go Fezzidipity first or Iron Bundle? I think I go Iron Bundle. Maybe just to pop that terrain. Get that cork drive boosting and hope that they don't lead Arch Salute on. Because again, it's just a problem. It really is a problem. And then in the back end, Entei could be solid. And last but not least, Primarina? I don't mind Primarina. I don't like that Arch Salute on. We don't really have any hard counters for Arch Ludon. No fighting, no ground Pokemon. Arch Salute on scary. It is scary, so. Hmm. Would I rather go in with like Fezzendipity late game? for some sort of speed control, but they're going to have speed control regardless, right? They're going to have it regardless. I mean, we could go Fezzendipity, but I have four seconds to pick now. Now, thinking about it, I think I'd rather have Fezzendipity just to pair up with that Tornadus because then we can go Tailwind for Tailwind, and then from there, I could Icy Wind and maybe get some poisons, right? But it's a little too late. It's just a little too late for that. It's all good. We're 2-0 oh already. We're guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying. And they're just going to go Tornadus and, and the Ogre. Tornadus and the Ogre come out here. And we get to go into these two. So from here, I might just send a Rock Blast this way. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Rock Blast and I might just protect you. Protect the Iron Bundle just to see what the Ogre Pond is going to do. But I think Tailwind, maybe like an Ivy Cudgel is going to come out here. Into the Bundle slot. 
But joke's on them. We're protecting the bundle and we're looking to rip a rock blast. Big time rock blast into that. And you end up just withdrawing this Pokemon. Hurts the soul. But who are they gonna go into here? Somebody who's not taking rock blast too kindly. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I don't mind this. Rock blast should be able to chuck up some nice damage. They're just gonna go for a bleak wind storm this turn. And maybe Iron Thorns dodges it? You don't. But you soak really well. No speed drop either. Of course they get the speed drop. But again, they had speed regardless, so I ain't worried. And don't tell me I missed a rock blast. Don't tell me I missed a rock blast. Really now. I'm gonna slide rock blast over to this side. He's just gonna thrash slice, man. I really missed a rock blast? Really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul. I mean, it would have probably did about half damage, but still, it would have been big. Um, I think I'm going to end up... We thrash slice maybe into bug here. Sanctuary Storm's looking scary. Yeah, you know, we're gonna go bug here. I'm gonna rock blast you. I'm just gonna go for a free shot. I think we're gonna see a double Terra. Really hurts the soul. I'm just devastated. Missing my Rock Blast? Rock Blast should be hitting most of the time. It's a weak enough move, right? It's a weak enough move to not have 100% accuracy. I end up Tailwind. They're just gonna stay here. As long as Iron Bundle can eat up a shot, it's gonna be good for us. Sansier Storm's gonna fly through there. And yeah, nice little Terra on our end. We're able to go for Freeze Try and finish you off. There's no way you're Sash, right? Beautiful. And Rock Blast, not gonna lie, has a hot chance KO in this, uh, this Pokemon right here. Not a bad turn for us. Rock Blast gonna come through here. And I thought we missed it again. I was gonna be so upset at Iron Thorns. He was gonna be banned from my teams ever again. <laughs> but now, nah, you know, three Rock Blast picking up the KO. Iron Thorns hitting hard. Good terror for us. Predicting the Sands here, Storm. Bug Terror Clutch. We love it. We love a good old Bug Terror. We love a good old Bug Terror. So I get up back a little bit of leftovers HP. They do have speed up against me, and they're now gonna bring out Ogre Pond. The Ogre Pond's gonna come out here with their final Pokemon, and our best bet might just be to double protect because both these Pokemon are gonna die out, right? They have speed, we might just wanna double protect and waste out another Tailwind turn and kinda go from there. But yeah, this one's gonna be tough with these guys. Cause my back end Pokemon with Entei and Primarina, not bad, but still, something we don't like. Something we definitely don't like. Three turns left to Tailwind, we gotta waste them out. We gotta go double protect here. Dublay Protect. We're hoping Ogre Pond doesn't have, like, Swords Dance or something, because that, that would definitely be a huge problem if they set up Swords Dance while we Double Protect. But yeah, these Pokemon are dead regardless. They have speed on us. We're just going to use Double Protect to waste out a Tailwind turn. They're going to go for a Moon Blast and an Ivy Cudgel. Moon Blast, Ivy Cudgel play. Maybe Horn Leech. You do have Swords Dance. Wow, that was our turn to attack. Oh, no. No bueno. This is no, no good. Not good at all. Red alert. Red alert. Whoop. Whoop. We're in trouble. Red alert. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Red alert. Red alert. We're gonna double down Ogre Pond here. Whoop. Whoop. It's my siren sound. Red alert. Red alert. Ogre Pond has sword stance. Red alert. <laughs> now we're dead. Now we're dead. Every time I say that, every time I say, as long as this thing doesn't happen, Next thing I know, this thing's clanging swords on top of its head. It's like, yeah, yo, I got it. You didn't think I had it, but I got it, he said. Come on, now. A little bit of sword dance action. So, there is one turn left in Tailwind. We should have double protect, right? Place on left, place on right. But the turn in Tailwind doesn't matter, right? Ultimately, it it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And now we can horn leech me. Um... I'm gonna go for Sacred Fire here, and I'm just gonna protect you because I don't want a Horn Leech to take out you. So if I can do enough damage with Sacred Fire, we're gonna hope this thing does a Terra first and foremost. And it's going Terra. Is it? It is the Ogre Pond. God dang it, man. God dang it. Because I was gonna say, if this thing doesn't Terrasalize, we can do some nice damage with Sacred Fire and then get off of E Speed and maybe pick up a KO. But he's just gonna go plus three. He's going for the Horn Leech. I already know he's going for the Horn Leech. I'm gonna just drop a nice lovely protect. 
This Horn Leech looked terrifying. Moon Blast. Not very effective. Still, the damage output absurd. Special attack drop comes in here. And no, you're doubling down into this? You read that protect? You crazy. You crazy. Wow, so we could just hyper voice and maybe just had a shot at win this game. Wow. They read that double protect. I guess we'll go for hyper voice here just to see what we can do, but it's over. Now they're just horn leeching us. But solid third match. Our opponent comes up, comes out on top, making some good plays with the Ogre Pond. Moonblast doing an insane amount of damage and dropping my special attack at the same time. And there's the grass fly. I knew you had the grass move ready to roll. I knew you did. Just good place for our opponents. 2 and 1 for today's video. We grab ourselves another winning record for the channel. Ironthorn's off meta team prevails on the rank ladder. Love this Pokemon so much. Love this team so much. Going 2 and 1 and grabbing ourselves yet another winning record for the Jeans channel. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit. It only takes 2 seconds to take guys' time. Seriously, it goes a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.